Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a revised no CC genetics challenge. Now, if you saw my first one, you will know that she actually turned out pretty good, but that I'd never actually added the mother's genetics in, which I just totally forgot to do. And luckily she had a really hot dad, so she ended up looking more like a dad, obviously. Well, just like a dad. And um, I thought I did really well. So I thought, well, to be fair, that's not a proper random genetics challenge then. So rather than me pull it down, because I quite enjoyed doing that, it was like my first go. I thought I will just read you the challenge because the good thing about this challenge is you never know what the outcome is going to be and it's just a lot of fun and if you haven't done it already then I suggest you go and do it because there are so many of these up now across the the web and each of them are completely different um, but again I'm going to be looking to do a no CC version so there'll be no CC on mom or dad and we will see what the outcome is going to be using both parents so just to start her off we will just click randomize once so that we know we've got a completely fresh sim so this is going to be mum that we're going to work on first so name wise i'll just go over quickly as well if you haven't seen the first one you're not aware of this genetics challenge which you know you've been living under a rock if you're not but anyway uh basically any part of the sim that you can randomize you randomize it three times on the mum on well on every single feature on the mum and the dad and then you create their daughter or their son and oh. you've got to make them look as pretty as you can so here we go the name is going to be one two three giselle and the surname is one two three dot giselle dot okay i never know i never know how to pronounce that name is it gazelle or giselle i think it's giselle but I think there's a supermodel called Giselle or something like that. I'm sure, like, she is, like, so hot and everything. But I just, whenever I see that name, I'm like, hmm. how the hell do you pronounce that? But anyway, we'll go with Giselle. If I'm wrong, sue me. <laughs> so, anyway, going on to her body, we will just remove, remove her a bit, some barbs. And then with the hair, we'll just get rid of that. So we'll start with the body first. Bodies and skin tone, one, two, three. Okay, that's quite average body really. Nothing too crazy going on there. Faces and skin tone, one, two, three. Okay, that's not bad. And then head shape, one, two, three. That didn't really do anything, so that's good. Eyebrows, one, two, three. Nice, I like those eyebrows. We're doing good so far. One, two, three. Oh yes, she is looking pretty. One, two, three. Nice little nose as well. She's looking stunning so far. Lips one two three nice chin one two three yeah nothing too crazy here cheeks one two three oh sweet sweet jaw one two three just giving her a thicker neck but that's nothing to really worry about ears and I just know I'm gonna end up with those Dumbo ears. One, two, three. Yeah, it's just a given, isn't it? Come on, we need some long hair. One, two, three. No. <laughs> oh, why give me that hair? Oh, okay, well, facially, she looks beautiful. Um, ears wise. Again, <laughs> they could do with, uh, you know, some pinning back surgery, <laughs> especially with that haircut. Uh, I would probably dye my hair a darker, less, um, 
<laughs> less brightly coloured, you know, colour in that style, but uh, no, she looks great. She looks pretty damn good. So outfit wise, full body, one, two, three. <laughs> Is it something about the third choice that just screws you over or what? Shoes, one, two, three. Okay, well, there's mum. There's mum. I mean, apart from like her ears and her outfit, she she's not too bad. You know, we could gain some pretty good things from mum. Okay, let's move on to dad. Okay, so we're gonna give dad the same last name, but first name is gonna be one, two, three. Oh, why give me these names? Who creates these names in The Sims? I know this is a popular name as well, but I don't know how to pronounce it. Matthias, Matthias. Matt, we'll just call him Matt. Matt Dodd, right, Matt Dodd. <laughs> Let's remove his clothes. Switch through. And his hair and beard. Right, body wise. Bodies and skin tone. One, two, three. Yep, that's pretty good. Pretty average body. I see his ribs a little bit. I mean, that's a little bit, you know. I like a man with a bit more meat than that, but no, that's okay. Right. Faces and skin tone. One, two. This this completely transforms them, doesn't it? Three. Oh god, he looks a bit kind of. Uh, he looks like someone. Who does he look like? He looks like an actor. He looks a bit of an idiot to be fair. You know, like you'd look at him and think, yeah, he's a bit of a scumbag. <laughs> like he looks a bit rough. <laughs> As if he's like, you know, would get into a bit of trouble on a Saturday night. <laughs> God, how judgmental of me. Right, head shape. One, two, three. Oh, oh gosh. That's given him quite the forehead there, hasn't it? Eyebrows. One, two, three. Okay, they're not too bad. Eyes. One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> he looks worse now. He looks evil with it as well. One, two, three. Okay, that's some sharp nose on him there. Lips wise, one, two, three. God, he looks like a proper moody guy, doesn't he? Chin, one, two, three. <laughs> oh, that first chin would have been hilarious. He does look like his mouth's a bit sour, you know, like, I don't know, like he's eating something that's a bit sour, I don't know. <laughs> Cheeks wise, one, two, three. Okay, chin, one, two, three, jaw even. And ears, one, two, three. Oh, well. Oh. Is this going to be inevitable now that their child is going to have these huge wing knots or what? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, as evil as he looks now, you would just laugh anyway, wouldn't you? <laughs> Bless him. <laughs> With those ears. Sorry to anyone who's got ears like that, you know. You can't help the way you're born. Right, hair. One, two, three. Well, that solved the air problem. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't think I've ever used this hair. Look, he likes it as well. 
I don't think I have ever used this hair at all in the series. <laughs> oh, facial hair. One, two, three. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's see what outfit it's going to give you. Full body. One, two, three. <laughs> well, not a lot to say about that. One, two, three. Well, at least it kind of matches her. <laughs> right then. Here's Daddy. He, he's not too bad, actually. Facially, you know, from a distance, he looks much better. Um, you know, his eyes are a bit evil and a bit sinister, but other than that, um, at least he got a hairstyle that could exist. <laughs> so, let's go into making the child. So, ensuring that I do this properly now, I have ha indeed ha added mum and dad, and we're creating their child. And it's going to be 18. And we're going to randomise three times. One. Two. Three. Okay. She got normal ears. She actually got normal ears. This is amazing. I mean, that mouth is not, it's really not the best. She's, you know, but she's, she's actually not too bad. She's got some real cheeks going on there, hasn't she? But in, all in all, I would say, you know, with a change of hairstyle and colour, we can certainly make her look a little bit more prettier, should I say. Um, her name's going to be one, two, three, Chantel Dodd. And now it's time to give her a little makeover. <laughs>
Okay, so I am actually just doing some final changes. I have just been to the moon, back and beyond with her outfits. But I now feel like we're going to go with this. Oh. Chantel Dodd, we are going to go with this. So I think she would be quite creative. Uh, would she be... I think she'd probably be a painter and personality wise I think hmm what would I put her down for maybe creative Quimba. she kind of looks quite like a real good girl like a do-gooder type thing Oh, it's tough, isn't it? It's not really, it's just this. <laughs> this is how indecisive I am. I'm going to give her a bookworm as well. I think she's like a creative kind of artsy type of person. But this is uh, Chantal Dodd. My final. Yeah, I'm not going to keep going, otherwise I'll be here all day. But this is um, my version of her. Ah. And she's actually again with both mum. We had a look at mum. Mum didn't turn out bad at all. She literally just had wing nuts. And dad <laughs> did have wing nuts underneath that hair. But structurally in the face, etc. And body type, we came off really well. So I would say our sim looks brilliant. I mean, she looks so beautiful. And yeah. You know, it just goes to show that even without CC, your sim can turn out well with this challenge. Um, but it, it is different in every single challenge that you do. I've seen some people get some really bad results. And it could have gone the other way. She could have ended up with massive ears and had to have an afro like that. <laughs> But yes, this is the end. I only did the one outfit again. Um, I'm not going to go through and do them all. I don't see the point in that. Um, but I will actually upload this one to the gallery because I don't think I uploaded the last family. Uh, I'm going to have a look and see if I've still got the last family. And if I have, I will upload them as well. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this second uh, genetics challenge. I don't think I'll be doing any more. But yeah, it just goes to show that it can and work out well with no CC. So thank you very much for watching if you got this far and please give me a big thumbs up because that really helps me out. Um, and I will look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.